it's been a long off season, so the expectations are high. Um, I thought we had a very successful season last year, fell a little, little bit short at the end, um, but obviously we have to build off of that. So I'm excited. It's uh, the ice is down. It's nice and cold in the arena now, so uh, I'm excited to get get on the ice and uh, and see what we got. Training camp is a, is uh, two weeks of. Uh, you know, a lot of time spent at the rink. So it's it's a lot of prep work, uh, a lot of spent a lot of time on the phone. Uh, but for actual on the ice stuff, it, it you know it's preparing the day before, um, knowing what we're going through uh, day to day. So you know each day varies. Um, we'll do different drills. I want to see different guys in different situations uh, on different days. So uh, it's extremely busy throughout the two weeks and. Like I said, uh, pretty much live at the rink for, for those uh, two weeks. You're looking for a lot of things. Uh, you know, some guys, you know, for the younger guys, it's it's that transition from maybe junior hockey or college hockey to the professional uh, level. Um, you're looking how guys train in the off season, returning players, what kind of shape they're in, um, you know, how serious they took their training in the off season. So there's a, there's a ton of things. Um, some guys had, you know, real successful junior and college careers, but it's a little trickier, you know, in the pro game and, and vice versa. Some guys maybe didn't have the the best of junior uh, and college careers, but turned out to be, you know, really good pro hockey players. So um, there's there's a there's a lot of things that uh, that go into it, and you know, like I said, it's uh, it's it's a real hectic time, but it's fun.